Welcome back, everybody. Sandag sent plans to the Del Mar City Council for their construction plan for seawalls and pilings to reinforce the unstable Del Mar Bluffs. Joining us now with more on the plans and why some are against it is Sandag board member Terry Gasterlin. Terry, good morning. Great to see you. Good morning, Jason. Good to see you, too. So from what I've read, it's, it's not so much what they're going to do, what they're planning to do, but it's the timing of it. Is that accurate? The timing is terrible, and what they want to do is really awful. And what we're hoping in Del Mar is that they can delay for at least two years. Let me paint the picture for you. Okay. All along the Del Mar Bluff are these beautiful, winding, meandering toes. Each of those toes has a sandy cove. Those sandy coves are above the high tide line. That's where surfers and swimmers can get out at high tide if they're caught there. That's where people who walk, families <coughs> with small children, it's a safety valve. And all of that is going to be completely made into just one long line west of the bluff toe with rocks and, and dirt behind it. One long wall? Yep. Okay. Almost two miles of Del Mar's beaches. And along when you the say blocks. rocks, are you talking about riprap, big rocks? Big, gigantic riprap rocks that they're going to bring okay. in. They're going to stage the construction at the lifeguard station and they're going to drive the entire two miles on the beach every day to go do this construction. Okay. March 21st is the starting date for this. And we have surfers, we have swimmers, we have people who are using this all the time. You may recall that back in October, the Sandag board defunded the beach access mitigation. So we're going to wind up with five years with no way to get on and off that beach especially safely at yeah, high tide. It's a safety issue. It's a safety issue and on top of a beach access issue. The safety issue is what's most concerning. So many people come to Del Mar and they go down the, that bluff, they go surfing every morning. Mm -hmm. I have friends and neighbors, people in my own home who go down just about every morning at dawn and surf. It's a beautiful asset to our whole entire area. Now, so I get the, 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 con the issue is where does, where does shoring up the bluffs. Okay, so let's walk through that. There you go. The pilings are at the top. Those pilings are known to work. The consultant, though, who designed all of this said, was told, design it till 2050. And remember, mm -hmm. we're taking those tracks off by 2035. Mm -hmm. And that's a whole separate issue, tunnel, where is it gonna go? Right. So the consultant said, well, let's, let's put seawall down at the bottom. Now, are these seawalls known to work? Are they known to protect the bluff? We have no idea. What we do know from my colleagues at Scripps Institution of Oceanography is that the bluffs are crumbling from above. The irrigation is coming from above, and that's what's making these bluffs schlump. Yes. And this happened at Del Mar Woods South in 2020, and if you want to see the destruction of the construction, just go to the, to the bluff above the ocean there, and you'll see these wide swaths of mud. That's what they're going to do to our beaches. And it gets worse. They're starting construction on March 21st. California is home <clears throat> to the grunion. The grunion are the little fish that are an integral part of the food web and make our offshore environment just so incredibly rich. Little fish get eaten by big fish, and so on. Well, these grunion are going to come up at 11 PM on March 25th, 26th, 27th, and 28th, and mate and lay their eggs. And then these trucks are going to come and just wipe those eggs away, says our chief lifeguard. Our chief lifeguard told us response times are going to be slower, the grunion eggs are going to get crushed, the seawalls aren't going to do a thing, the sand is going to get scoured, and now this is all starting right away. And this decision was made by Sandag. It was It made, wasn't put to a vote. Oh, even worse. Not only was it made by Sandag, it was made by Sandag's contractor, and it was made based on materials for construction being available. No one has thought this through. So I'm really hoping that what we can do is speak up from the city of Del Mar, the residents of Del Mar, the people who surf and swim on these beaches, email clerk of the board at sandag.org and say, please pause. Do the seawalls last? Don't start seawall construction until mitigation has been funded. And rethink it. Last, what about all that sand, the Del Mar Gold offshore? 
Right now, 700,000 cubic yards of sand are being pumped off onto barges and being taken to Solana Beach's beaches. There, they've lost their beaches because of bluff armoring. So instead of armoring down in Del Mar, let's use some of that sand and get it onto our beaches and protect our bluffs that way. Okay, so what is the, you're trying to get people, our viewers, especially people in Del Mar, yeah. to email clerk with, Clerk of the board, all one word with no spaces, okay. at sandag.org, and sandag is S-A-N-D-A-G. Okay. And say, wait on these seawalls, don't do it yet, sand instead, and come to Del Mar at 11 p.m. on March 26th and see the baby grunion. All right, good, <laughs> Terry Gastelin, thanks for the update, we appreciate it. Thank you. All right.